after preparation. Sometimes acts of plagiarism are clear, unquestionable, and obvious. On this slide is a creative comment image of a flooded parking lot with a sign that reads, Car Park Closed Due to Flooding. Other times, recognizing plagiarism is a bit more challenging. On this slide is a Creative Commons image of two opposing people standing in front of what appear to be three sticks from one perspective and four sticks from the other perspective. By the end of this presentation, students will be able to on this slide is a Creative Commons image of a field with a small section clarified in brighter color. One, define plagiarism. Two, name five instances when a citation is needed. Three, discern acceptable from unacceptable paraphrasing. And four, define self-plagiarism. Plagiarism is the uncredited use both intentional and unintentional of another's words or ideas. In Owl, 2010. Unquestionable plagiarism is buying, stealing, or borrowing all or part of someone else's work, using a paper that is written by someone you hired and submitting it as your work, or inserting exact words without quotation marks and citations. Questionable plagiarism is paraphrasing, rephrasing, or summarizing the work of others without giving credit, not crediting others' ideas, building on someone else's ideas without giving credit to the original author. The key to avoiding plagiarism is to give credit where credit is due. On the slide is a Creative Commons image of a key. Checkpoint one, define plagiarism. Checkpoint one, plagiarism is the uncredited use, both intentional and unintentional, of another's words or ideas. What needs a citation? Words or ideas. Exact words. A direct quote around exact words from the original text, paraphrased words, even if no exact words are used, cite the source. Ideas, if you have gained ideas or concepts from a source, they need a citation. Information gained through interviews, conversations, and face-to-face -face meetings, and visual material that is copied directly. Citation savvy, in your note-taking, Mark someone else's words with a Q as a reminder that this is a direct quote. Mark ideas taken from sources with an S as a reminder to include a citation. Mark your own insights with capital M, capital E, me, because these may not need a citation. Record relevant documentation in your notes, book and article titles, URLs on the web, when summarizing, give credit by using the author's name directly in the sentence. Example A, Coatsall, 2008, considers emphasis on standardized testing as a constraint to creative teaching. Example B, standardized testing constrains creativity in teaching. Coatsall, 2008. Action steps. One, summarize from memory without looking at the original text. Two, then go back to the text and see if there are similarities. Three, use a citation if there are similarities. Checkpoint number two, name five instances when a citation is needed. On the screen is a Creative Commons image of a transparent hand with five fingers extended. Checkpoint two, five instances are exact words, Paraphrased words, ideas, images, and visual material not from the Creative Commons, words from a conversation or interview. Paraphrasing what is acceptable. Accurately relay the information in the original. Use the writer's own wording where both the structure and words have been modified from the original source and provide the reader with the source of the information. Paraphrasing what's unacceptable. 
the writer has only changed around a few words and phrases or changed the order of the original sentences. The writer has failed to cite a source for any of the ideas or facts. Checkpoint three. Which is the legitimate paraphrase, A or B? A is legitimate paraphrasing. The words are paraphrased and the writer included a citation to refer to the original source. A winner, winner, chicken dinner. If it's not yours and you want to use it, cite it. In fact, if it's yours already and you want to use it again, cite it. Self-plagiarism is the use of one's own work in another context without citing that it was used previously. On this slide is a Creative Commons image of Winnie the Pooh peering into a mirror. Self-plagiarism, what does it look like? Reusing content, either a sentence, paragraph, or entire paper that you've written previously and submitted for an assignment in another class without citing or referring to your previous assignment submission. What should you do instead? Reread assignment descriptions carefully. What seems like an overlap may actually require that you approach the topic with a new lens. If there is overlap, then you can and should cite yourself. Checkpoint four, which fits the definition of self-plagiarism, A, B, or C? Choice B fits self-plagiarism because the writer used their previously submitted work without citing the original source. Academic integrity. UWM expects each student to be honest in academic performance. Failure to do so may result in discipline under rules published by the Board of Regents, UWS 14. The most common forms of academic dishonesty are cheating and plagiarism. For more information, refer to http colon backslash backslash uwm.edu backslash academic affairs backslash faculty staff backslash policies backslash academic dash misconduct backslash. That was exciting. Now I'm ready to start writing.